VSure Real-Time PCR Detection Kits VSure Real-Time PCR Detection Kits allow the specific identification of pathogens in biological samples in all stages of infection. It is based on the real-time PCR technique, an in vitro technique used to amplify specific DNA fragments and detect its accumulation in real time by measuring the increase in the fluorescence signal. To begin the reaction, the temperature is raised to 95 degrees. At this temperature, the double-stranded DNA is separated into single strands. Then, three major steps are repeated during each cycle. First, denaturation to obtain single DNA strands. Second, annealing. The temperature is then lowered to approximately 60 degrees. This allows the primers and the fluorescent probe to bind to your target sequence of interest. And third, extension. Between 60 and 72 degrees, the polymerase extends the primers and cleaves the probe, which generates an increase in the fluorescent signal proportional to the amount of amplified product. After one cycle of PCR, there are twice copies of the target DNA. These steps are repeated through around 45 cycles. When the starting material is RNA, one first additional cycle of reverse transcription is required. The real-time PCR reaction requires the following components. TAC DNA polymerase, reverse transcriptase, primers, probe, DNTPS, MgCl2, magnesium chloride, buffer, stabilizers, internal control. VSure Real-Time PCR Detection Kit contains the following components. Well strips with all the previous reactives in a stabilized format, positive and negative control, rehydration buffer to reconstitute the stabilized product, water RNA SE, DNA SE free, optical caps for sealing wells during thermal cycling, Molecular Diagnosis Unit consists of four areas. Nucleic Acids Extraction, Pre-PCR, Setup, PCR, Amplification and Results Interpretation. The first area aims to process potentially infectious samples and subsequent extraction and purification of nucleic acids with the RNA-DNA VSure Extraction Kit. We recommend to dilute stool samples before extraction and use the supernatant to perform DNA-RNA extraction. Homogenize the fecal sample, collect a pea size and transfer to a 2 ml vial with 200 microliter of RNA-SA, DNA-SA free water, PBS or physiological serum. Vortex the sample and centrifuge. Samples are lysed at elevated temperature in the presence of lysis buffer and proteinase K. Transfer the supernatant to the 2.0 ml collection tube. Then add lysis buffer and proteinase K and vortex vigorously. Incubate 10 minutes at 65 degrees and then 10 minutes at 95 degrees. After optimal binding conditions are adjusted by the addition of isopropanol, the lysate will be applied onto the mini-spin column and DNA-RNA bonds to the surface of the filter membrane. Add binding buffer and mix by pipetting or vortexing. Incubate the sample at room temperature and transfer the lysate onto the column mini-spin column set. Centrifuge and discard both the filtrate and the RTA collection tube. Then place the column mini-spin column into a new RTA collection tube. Contaminations and enzyme inhibitors are efficiently removed during the following wash steps, while the nucleic acids remain bound to the membrane of the mini spin column. Add wash buffer 1, centrifuge and discard. Add wash buffer 2 and centrifuge. Repeat this washing step once. Centrifuge to remove ethanol residues and discard the filtrate and the RTA collection tube. 
The nucleic acids are finally eluted from the membrane using elution buffer. Place the column mini spin column in the sterile 1.5 milliliter collection tube. Add elution buffer preheated at 65 degrees. Incubate at room temperature and centrifuge. Discard the column mini spin column. Store the DNA RNA sample at 4 degrees for immediate use or preserve from minus 20 to minus 80 degrees for longer periods. The sample is ready for the next area. Take the Viashore Pathogen Real-Time PCR Detection Kit and separate the required number of wells including samples and two reserved wells for the positive and negative controls that must always be included in each assay. If necessary, cut the required number of wells with the scissors and remove the protective aluminium seal. Reconstitute each one of the wells with 15 microliters of the blue vial rehydration buffer. Finally, add 5 microliters of the purple vial negative control in the reserved well for negative control. After this process, move the rehydrated well to the next area. Two independent processes are made in the third area. First, the positive control rehydration. Viashore Pathogen Real-Time PCR Detection Kit contains a positive control that must be rehydrated before using this assay. It is recommended to open and manipulate before starting with the assay. Reconstitute the red vial positive control with 100 microliters of the white vial RNA say DNA say free water and mix with the help of the vortex. Store at minus 20 degrees after resuspension and divide in aliquots to minimize the freeze thaw cycles. The second process is the addition of the nucleic acids and positive control to the rehydrated wells. Add 5 microliters of extracted DNA RNA from each sample in the rehydrated wells, with the exception of the two well reserved for the positive and negative control. Add 5 microliters of reconstituted red vial positive control in the reserved well for positive control. To finish, Divide the required optical caps number and close the wells. After this process, move the plate to the real-time PCR equipment. Place the plate in the thermocycler, program the thermocycler and start protocol. When finished, analyze the results with the software installed in the equipment. Viashore provides maximum flexibility and compatibility with leading open system thermal cyclers and the latest technology for the stabilization of products. Ready to use kits with all the necessary components for the testing. Long term stability that facilitates transport at room temperature. Easy to use. It minimizes the number of manipulations reducing time and possible errors. Versatile. Possibility to analyze from 1 up to 96 samples per testing. Exogenous internal control. Evaluated and validated according to ISO 13485 and CE marked. Viashore, real-time PCR detection kits.